hey guys, so for today's video, I thought I would do kind of a first impressions, new and beauty, get ready with me, just mess of a video. There are a lot of new products that have hit my doorstep or that I've purchased myself that I kind of wanted to talk about. A lot of them that I've snapped that you guys are like, oh, can you talk about this more in depth in a video? But because there are so many different things, there's not enough time in the day or the week or the month to post videos dedicated to every single one. So I thought I would just kind of combine everything into one video today. So if you would like to see how I got this look, because I did do a first impressions and kind of a little bit of a get ready with me using the new uh, color or dose of colors uh, Desi Katie collaboration just keep watching. I'll also leave a link to where that begins underneath this video if you want to skip past all the stuff that I kind of opened of PR boxes and all of that uh, but if you want to see how I got this look I will share that as well and I also do a first impressions and kind of use in my opinion on the Clarisonic makeup brush head which a lot of you guys asked about. So again if you want to skip to the Desi Katie look and also what I think about those products and also the Clarisonic Mia one hit the link below. If not you'll see a bunch of just new products that I have received and all of that. So yeah let's get right into it. So starting off we'll start with this first package and what is in here. This is from Skin Iceland. As you guys know Skin has become one of my favorite beauty brands or skincare brands. Uh, they started sending me stuff a few weeks ago and they have the best daily cooling lotion. It just makes your skin just feel so like amazing when it's hot out and all of that and their face masks and their gel patches are just oh my gosh so cool. They sent me two different products that they just released. The first thing is a Arctic Hydration Rubberizing Mask with Vitamin C. Um, it's kind of cool. It's in these like plastic containers. The PR note on it said something about being like DIY or something. I don't know. It looks really interesting though. This looks like it's going to be way more work than I thought it would be for this video so I'm not going to do it but they come in these like three different compartments and then it has all these directions on the back. I'm gonna open one and see what it looks like. Oh my gosh that's so cool. I don't know what it is but I love like I don't know I love face masks and skincare that like gets you involved and has you doing stuff like it just I don't know why it's just so much fun and it's got all of this stuff in here and apparently you mix it in the pan and then you oh I'm so excited so this is a rubberizing mask that sounds really interesting. If you guys want me to do this mask in one of those chit chat, I do a mask and talk to you guys type video, let me know below or give this video a thumbs up because this sounds super interesting. Like I wonder if this turns into like a rubber while on your face and you peel it off. Like that's kind of what I get from this. I don't know, pretty excited. So they sent me that. They also sent me a berry lip fix with wintered red algae. So this is just a like lip balm of some sort. I think. I don't know. We'll see. Ooh. One thing I love about Skin Iceland is that they have the best packaging. Look at that. That is so cool. They have the best packaging. So let me make sure. They have these really good lip gels too that I like. Where? Uh oh. Here it comes. Hmm. I love the application. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can taste the berry, but it's not like overwhelming. It feels so good. Ooh, I like that a lot. That is gonna be a favorite of mine for sure. That feels really good. Dude, my chair keeps making farting noises. I swear it's not me. I would totally fess up to a fart. Let's just say that. Next thing in here is from Pixie Beauty. Ooh, my lips are starting to tingle. That's cool. I really like that lip stuff. Again, that was the Berry Lip Fix from Skin Iceland. I'll leave all the links to everything I mentioned below as usual. I know you guys like that. But Pixie Beauty sent, oh my gosh, look at this box. It's pretty heavy. They sent the hashtag Pixie Pretties Favorites. Oh my gosh, this thing is like jam-packed. thing in here is the Carolyn Herons Double Cleanse. If you guys remember a few months ago when the It's Judy Time palette came out, Pixie sent me this huge box full of all of their like collaboration releases. And the Carolyn Herons uh, Cleanser Balm was part of that. And this is a solid cleansing oil. Like it's like a almost like just like a, it's a solid form and then you just put your hand in it and it melts and you wipe it in to remove your makeup and to clean your face. I'm not gonna lie so I used this for like a week and I had a lot of difficulty with it because it was so oily it was hard to like get off my face and then it just it kind of almost left my face more oily so it melted away my makeup really easily and really well though but it wasn't something that I loved so I might put this in a giveaway or give that to or put that in my box. I've been sending all of 
of the products that I don't use or that my skin's disagreed with or I have doubles of. I've been sending a lot of that to my mom who's recently retired and doing more in her community um, to give to like women's shelters and stuff like that. So um, I might have to pass that along, but that's that was my experience with that. I don't want to lie to you guys or make you think like, oh, these things are great, you know, if they're not. So I wasn't a huge fan of that, uh, but they also sent a glow tonic travel thing. Glow tonic. I love glow tonic. You guys know it's been a favorite of mine for years. Love, love, love. And then they also sent the Aspen Navard uh, glowy powder cheek powder. This is like a highlighting blush. I have one of these too, so I'll pass that along, but that is actually a really nice blush. They also sent a Miriam I don't know how to spell her last name. This is the Strobe and Bronze Palette. Did they send this in the last one? I'll have to look through my stuff. But I've never been disappointed with the Pixi product powders. Like, all of them for face and eyeshadow have blown me away. The only thing so far I have not liked about Pixi products is just that one skincare product. That one. The other skincare products I've loved, but that one, not a huge fan of. And they sent an It's Judy Time palette. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting because this is no joke, like, one of my most beloved palettes that I use all the time. Like, I just recently did a video, I feel like, with using it. But this, I love this palette. Palette. So I will be giving this away because it's amazing. The pigment, the colors, everything is amazing about this palette. So yeah, that's exciting. I know I'm not going to get a lot of use out of this PR package except for the Glow Tonic because I love this because I have all this stuff. But I'm excited for you guys because that means either I can give them away to you or I can give them away to somebody who, you know, a shelter who needs them. So thank you, Pixie Beauty. That was very nice of you. Moving on to this box right here. This is actually from a subscriber of mine. She contacted me. She sells a uh, makeup brand of some sort. I'm not quite sure. I think it's called Alcone. Um, it's something that's sold online through like salespeople, kind of like lip sense and all of that. And you guys know I love helping out my subscribers. I'm all for starting your own businesses, making your own money, hustling yourself. Like I'm all about that stuff. So if I can support somebody in their endeavors, I totally will if it's within my capabilities. You know, I've done a lot of LuLaRoe and lip sense and videos like that. But like I said, this is Limelight by Alcone. And it comes in this cute little box like this. And let's see what she said. I guess they're really well known for their mascara. So in here is this cute little packaged up kit and we have a perfect eyeshadow. The packaging is adorable. It's like a nice little watercolor packaging. Oh my gosh, look how cute. It's like a hard cardboard and it's just, oh my gosh, that's a really pretty eyeshadow color. It's like a bronzy color. Ooh, that's nice. Can you see that? That is really nice. And it doesn't say the color on it. That's the only thing. But that is a nice sized eyeshadow pan. And I really like how sturdy the actual packaging is. And this is just, it just says perfect eyeshadow on it. And it says ES19S. But I like that eyeshadow color a lot. Wow, that is like really pigmented too. Like I'm trying to wipe it off my finger and it won't come off. She also sent a perfect coverage botanical foundation. Now this is going to be difficult because I am not always foundations are kind of hit or miss with me this might be a little too yellow we can try to make it work but it's like a cream yeah this is I don't think that's gonna work it's a little too yellow but we can work with it uh, but it's just like a cream foundation I'll leave links again underneath here and then a perfect bronzer and it's a shimmery bronzer Ooh, that's a very, very, very shimmery bronzer. I'm not sure how much I would use this as a bronzer, but maybe an eyeshadow. That's really shimmery. And then she also sent a lip color as well. And this, I'm not sure what color this is either. The colors aren't really clearly marked. Like they don't seem to have like actual names. Actually, this one does. I lied. This says creme brulee. And this is, it smells nice. It kind of smells like Kat Von D's. That goes on really nice. It's showing up more bright pink on camera. Hmm. I don't hate that. Moving on to more products. Uh, Pixie did actually send another PR box. This was like a few, like, this was like a month ago. They, I, I feel like I get one like once a month from them. And I didn't have a chance to talk about it just because, again, I hadn't... I don't know, I like to kind of have a few things at once, but they sent the Pixi Quick Fix Powder, which I have used this before and I do have in my collection already, and this is just a translucent setting powder. I like this, it's a very affordable translucent powder if you don't have money for like Laura Mercier or anything like that, like it's not a bad powder whatsoever.
whatsoever. They also sent a nourishing lip polish, which again, I have this already, which I love because it's mint flavored and it works really well. It also has like a scrubber at the end, like a plastic scrubber, like abrasive tip so that way it kind of scrubs away any like dead skin or flakiness that you have and then they also sent a multi balm uh, cheek and lip tint which you guys know I do have all of these as well and these are really great because this color especially this is in the color baby petal works really well for both cheek and lip like it does work really well and then they also sent the makeup fixing spray this is the rose water one again I have this already uh, and it's really really great so again I guess I should just do like a big pixie giveaway that might be fun. Next, L'Oreal sent a bunch of skincare products. Uh, they sent all of their masks that they had previously sent me before in a huge box, which I still have two of them, so I will be giving some of these away. These are really nice masks. I like them. I like that they're kind of in these tubs, too. The packaging's beautiful. It's like a nice glass, solid packaging. And I like that they're in tubs because you can just take a brush and kind of multitask where your areas are. So if you're oily in some area or if you have breakouts in some area, you can really just paint the mask on wherever you need it, like any different type of mask so that is pretty cool but what they sent in the package that was a new thing was that they came out with matching clay uh, cleansers so this is pretty nice because they kind of go along with the masks which I love the packaging the packaging is awesome they have the eucalyptus one which is the clay to mousse purify mattify one this is the one I will probably use the most because I do need to mattify I become more oily for some reason they also have a detox and brighten one and then they also have an exfoliate and refine one so basically you could just keep these three things in your shower or next to your sink and use them for whatever issue you have at the time and then use the correlating masks for that. And then second to last thing I got that I want to share with you guys is this box from John Frieda. They sent a PR bundle and it just has basically some of their new lightning products. I realized I probably should have talked about these sooner since summer's almost over. But basically they have a line of shampoo and conditioner and all of that that is supposed to lighten your hair. So if you want to noticeably lighten your hair and have that sun-kissed look, it's kind of of like sun in but a higher end version of it uh, this is supposed to like be proven to lighten your hair so you use the shampoo and the conditioner and it just subtly lightens your hair which as you guys know I just recently went darker so this is not something that I need right now but it's pretty cool like and they've come a long way since I was in junior high and using sun in and burning and frying my hair trying to lighten it like, we've come a long way. They did also send this little light. This thing I thought was so funny. This is a ring light selfie light. So it pops onto your phone, which I don't know if it fits over my phone with its phone case on. I don't think it's going to. Does it? Which is kind of stupid, in my opinion, if it doesn't. It's not going to fit on my phone with the case on, but basically you're supposed to put it on there. And then this is what it does. It's literally like a ring light for your phone. It's got three different settings. So you can take beautiful selfie pictures, which honestly, I'm kind of digging this. I love it. I think it's a great idea. You can recharge it by plugging it in with a USB cord. I think they're a great idea, especially for somebody who uses their phone to vlog with. Like if you're a vlogger and you need to like vlog at night, that light will be really nice. So uh, this is by the company Ring Light Selfie. I'll leave a link below as well, but they sent that, which I thought was kind of neat too. Moving on to the things that I kind of want to talk about in this video and kind of do first real in-depth first impressions on. Clarisonic sent me a bunch of new brush heads. As you guys know, I love my Clarisonics. I have the Clarisonic Mia 2, which is the handheld one, my teal one that's upstairs. And then they sent me the Clarisonic Mia Fit, I want to say a year or two ago. I love my Clarisonic so much. Like I my skin has changed since I started using them regularly. I use them all the time and I just love them. Anyways, they sent me some new brush heads. I had mentioned that I needed new ones. The one that I usually use is the Deep Pore uh, Cleansing Brush. It's the blue one. It's a little bit harsh for some people's skin, but I've gotten used to it and it's really, really good for mine and it's really shrunk down my pores a lot and cleaned them out. They also sent the Radiance Brush Head, which I was using as well. I had that on my Mia Fit, so I was using the pore cleansing one at night and then the Radiance one in the morning. I'm not as big a fan as the Radiance one just because it's too gentle for me. Like, I am used to the deep pore cleansing one and so that's the one I really like the most. And then they also sent an Acne Cleansing one, which is the green one. I've never tried that because I've never really had an issue with acne since being in junior high, uh, thank God. But uh, I don't have a lot of experience with that one, but the one that I want to talk about the most right now is this one. So they sent the Clarisonic Skin Foundation Brush, 
and I've seen so many videos on this around town and I just was like oh my gosh I need to try that and I want to try it with you guys on camera first. Basically this is what it looks like. It's like a makeup brush and you're supposed to just hook it on to whatever Clarisonic device you have and you're supposed to use it to put your foundation on. So you guys know me. I usually use my beauty blender but I wanted to see what this was like. So I thought that's what we could do today. Yeah, let's go ahead and try it. That and a lot of you guys asked after I posted a picture on Instagram. So I was like, well, now I have to do it. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Gel just because that's what I've been using lately just for my everyday if I don't want really like full coverage or anything like that. So I'm just gonna dot it around my face and see what happens. I'm kind of nervous, but really excited at the same time. Let's turn it on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Can we, like, chill out a little bit? Let's go down a setting. There we go. Hmm. Do you see this? That feels so good. That feels so good. I love it. Oh my gosh. That worked so well. Oh my gosh. I like this thing a lot. I was not thinking I would like this thing as much as I do. <laughs> but I really like it. I'm in love with this thing so much. Like, I love this brush head so much. Like, it made so much of my Bare, bare mineral stuff go further. Like, this is how much I would normally use with a beauty blender on my face, was like what I put on my hand. And look how much I have left over, because I didn't need to put as much on, because this thing is amazing. And I would say that I actually have fuller coverage with it, even though I, less, you, even though I use less of my foundation, because this brush head doesn't really like seep up a lot of it. It went on so well. Oh my gosh. So yeah, so there is what I think about the Clarisonic brush head for a foundation. If you already have a Clarisonic, I would highly suggest trying out that brush if you're looking for a new way of putting on your foundation because that went on so well. Like so well. And like I said, I use less product, so my product will go further. Oh my goodness. Look how nice that looks. I love it. So moving on to the last thing which I'm the most excited about, and it's not because this has been hyped up online or anything like that, it's because legitimately when I saw the collection, I got so excited just because of the way everything looked and it was just totally all my colors and the packaging and everything. So I ordered the Dosa Colors Desi Katie, it's upside down, the Dosa Colors Desi Katie or whatever it is collaboration makeup. I was like, I put it in my calendar even and was online. I was that person for once in my life, I've never been this way with anything. I was that person who was online right at the release and I ordered it immediately. I got mine a little bit later than some people though, which is why this is taking so long, even though I ordered it like right away. So not quite sure about that, but I don't care. I'm just super excited. I'm super excited. So I don't really know Desi or Katie. I've maybe seen one or two of their videos. I, that's not why I cared about this collection whatsoever at all. It's honestly just because when I saw one of the videos using this makeup, that's what I got excited about. So. I don't really care who these people are as much as I just really wanted the actual makeup. So I've never tried Dose of Color stuff before. I do remember being at IMATS in LA a couple years ago and they had like a limited release of some specific color. I don't remember what it was, but I remember there being a line all the way around the entire building just for this lip color. Uh, so I've never tried them before, but I hear that they're really good. Inside you have this Desi and Katie and then this stuff again. I've only watched a couple of their videos, so I don't really know anything about them. Uh, but this is, you know, whatever. They look like, I don't know, they look like standard YouTube beauty vloggers, and I don't know. Uh, and then when you open it up, everything's nicely bubble wrapped. The packaging of the box and stuff does remind me kind of of the Kylie Cosmetics stuff. I wonder if they just get their boxes all at the same place. That would not surprise me. And these are the three things that I got. I was kicking myself after I put my order in because I should have gotten two other things that I wanted. But you know what? I don't really need more makeup, so I thought these three things would be a good indicator of what the collection was like, and these are the things that I was most excited about. So you get a little sticker that says Dose 
the colors, a little thing, my receipt. The outside packaging is beautiful. It's this beautiful rose gold and it says Dosa Colors. The things that I got were the highlighter because I feel like everybody was freaking out about the highlighter. I got the color Fuego. Again, I wish I would have gotten the other one as well. But the packaging is literally what got me. Like when I saw the packaging, oh, there's even like a little protective plastic thing over the gold. Oh my gosh. The packaging is honestly what got me the most excited about this collection just because it's so beautiful. And as much as I don't want to be one of those people who is like, oh my god, glitter, gold, oh my god, packaging, I am. I love looking at pretty things. So the packaging, even though it has a metal kind of like label right here, uh, it's still cardboard. Oh, there's a mirror, thank goodness. Kylie Cosmetics did not have a mirror in any of her uh, products that I had purchased and I was kind of annoyed by that. ColourPop also there's a few things that didn't have a mirror and it drove me nuts. But there is a mirror in here. Like considering how affordable this makeup is, I think they did a very, very amazing job on the packaging. So again, I got the highlighter in Fuego and it feels really nice. It's nice because it's not as wet feeling as the Kylie Cosmetics one. And then I also got their eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow palette I was so excited about because it was all these colors that I just thought were so beautiful. Again, same exact packaging. I have a mirror as well. Again, super excited about the mirror. And these are the four shades. Even though this is more of a palette for kind of an addition to a matte palette, like this is not a palette that you would take by itself traveling because everything is shimmer and, and some of them are meant to be kind of as like a wet shift. You know, even though it is just kind of an accompaniment palette, I still really wanted it because it is so beautiful. This again, very affordable as well. So this one's supposed to be used wet and this one's supposed to be used wet and then these can be used dry, but it seems like all of them should be basically used with your finger. So let's go ahead and swatch them since they're supposed to be used with your finger. I went ahead and swatched them. Right here at the bottom we have Noli, which is that goldish one. Then above that we have Turbo Sun, which is the one that I'm most excited about just because it's so beautiful. And then we have Harpoon, which is like a greenish gray color, which is supposed to be applied wet, which did apply beautifully wet. It did not do much dry, so I would suggest following their directions and using it wet. And then above that is a very intense Suze, which is very beautiful. Very beautiful. I applied it wet, but I will say that the texture was just a tiny bit chunky. That's the only thing, but it did apply beautifully. So the last thing that I got from their collection was a lipstick, and I was super excited about these because these are supposed to be the perfect nudes or whatnot, and I've always been on the search for a perfect nude lip. All the nudes that I've come across that are supposed to be perfect nudes for people are always way too light for me, and they make my teeth look yellow, and they just look ridiculous. The packaging on this is gorgeous. It's again just like a nice sleek nude color, and then dose of color and the metal is in like a gold rose gold color. I love this packaging. I think that they oh my gosh They did such a good job. The texture is really nice like it's this nice like hard smooth rubber and this is in the color more creamer please i picked the darker one of the two just because the lighter one just looked like it was not going to work for me so i'm going to really quickly do my face makeup my eyebrows and all of that and then we will do our eyes and our lips with these things to finish off this video and see what it all looks like all right so let's go ahead and get right into the eyeshadow so i'm going to use my it's judy's time palette i'm going to use good morning and i'm just going to use this as a transition color you guys hear those cicadas? I had to open up the windows because it's so hot here. Those cicadas are so loud, like, <sighs> they're so annoying. And then I'm gonna take Turbo Sun, which is the bluish gray with my finger because this is the one I am most excited about. And I'm gonna work that in. I'm not a huge fan, and I've said this before, I'm not a huge fan of using my fingers for things, so. I don't know about the whole finger thing. I mean, you know what? I'm just gonna go in and just do my whole entire... It's hard to control with my finger. That's the problem. Like, it's hard to control where this color is going using my finger. So, I'm gonna try to see if I can use, like, a flat brush. See how it applies with a flat brush. Like, if I have to use my finger. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't want to apply as well. That's kind of a bummer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep using my finger to build it up and then maybe use the flat shader brush to kind of uh, blend it out upward. I mean, the sparkles are amazing. I love the glittery, like, shimmer to this. It's 
gorgeous. But again, I just wish I didn't have to use my finger to apply it. It's just a little messier using your fingers, which does not look so great with a monolid. My eyes are less forgiving than others. So that seems to be working pretty well. If I use my finger to pack it on and then I use the brush to kind of smooth out the edges and kind of clean it up a little bit. And then I'm going to go back with some more Good Morning. Blend a little bit. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do my brow bone highlight, finish up my eyeliner, and then we'll move on to the highlighter and see how everything looks. Now that I have my eyeshadow done, I'm going to actually take the Noli, which is the bronze eyeshadow color, and I'm just going to put it underneath my eye and my waterline and lower lash line. I'm going to put on Fuego real quick, which is the highlighter. And we're going to see how that looks. Okay. And then last but not least, we are going to take more Creamer Please, which is the nude lipstick, and see what it looks like. And that is a legit nude, like it literally blends in exactly to my skin tone. So let's go upstairs and look at all this in the sunlight. This is what all of it looks like in natural daylight, just like in the light. The highlighter is very pretty. I'm always a little hesitant to believe what something's going to look like on me in real life when it comes to when I see stuff on YouTube videos just because they have such like bright lighting. So uh, perfect bright lighting tends to bring out colors more, tends to bring out highlighters more. So I'm always a little bit ambivalent to like believe that something's gonna be as like shockingly, you know, something or other. So the highlighter is very beautiful though. I mean, there is no denying that it's beautiful. It's not as like wet and glistening as I thought thought it would be, if that makes sense. The eyeshadow is gorgeous. Like there's just the right amount of glimmer and shine and all of that. I really like the way that the bronze Noli looks underneath my waterline. It's very beautiful. I think the It's Judy palette complements it very well, all of those beiges. And the nude lip, even though it looked like it blended into my skin downstairs, obviously as you can see it doesn't up here. I'm not used to wearing this kind of uh, peachy looking nude and this actually does not look bad. I actually am not hating it. It's 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 not bad. I do like it. It does definitely look better on Desi than it does me, but I do like it a lot. There's a hair in my eye. Oh my gosh. That's the only problem with having false lashes on is that sometimes like hairs get stuck in the false lashes and you're like, oh my god, what's in my eye? So anyways, that is what the finished look looks like. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you like it? Even though I do wish that I had the other highlighter and I do think Fuego is really pretty, I do think the, I do think that, uh, say, Pixie Beauty makes just as beautiful highlighters. The eyeshadow, however, and the lipstick, though, those are the two things that are really getting me. These are just amazing, and I really, I really do like this eyeshadow a lot. So because a lot of that glimmer and glittery, shimmery stuff came off, you know, on the top layer, it'll be interesting to see as I go on using it if I'll still get this very shimmery, you know, glittery look or if it was just like the top layer because by looking at it it looks like it was just the top layer but I'm very happy with the way that this turned out. What do you guys think? So there you have it. There's my honest opinion and first impression on the Desi products. And then also the Clarisonic foundation brush head. I totally love that thing. It is totally worth it. And just a bunch of other new things that have come to my doorstep. So if you guys want to see that rubberized skin Iceland uh, mask in a video, let me know. Give this video a thumbs up. If you like videos like this, give them a thumbs up. If you like this makeup look, let me know because I really dig it, especially with my darker hair. I think it looks really nice. And again, I really, 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 really do like the eyeshadows a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So anyways, thank you guys as always for watching. Leave a comment below if there's anything specific again that you want to see more in depth. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. I post every two to three weeks and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye!